a lot of these companies are overcharging for quality and also some of these products should be better for their price welcome to la vida rosa i'm your host pinky and today i'm going to be trying fancy beauty products maybe old to you new to me and i'm going to be doing a 12 hour wear test using those products so stay tuned if you would like to see if they hold up under the pressure of this oily skin but before we begin i would like for everyone to check out my website la vida rosa style where you can find cute accessories like the earrings that i'm wearing right now so make sure you check out that link down below also while you're down there don't forget to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get into this video all right y'all so like i mentioned in the beginning we're going to be testing fenty beauty today i'm going to be doing a 12 hour wear test using her products i just really want to see if they can withstand the grease monster that lives under my skin okay most of these products that i'm going to be using today i've never used before i've had her foundation but this is a different color which is to four three times they match me three different colors those three times so we'll see how this color does this round but first i'm going to start with the fenty beauty primer this primer is very thick and creamy and it's like a pinkish tone and it's supposed to be matte which is perfect for me i'm always looking for a matte primer so let's go ahead and apply i'm applying to my t-zone and it seems like with this a little goes a long way i've never used the foundation and the primer together so we shall see how that works so this time around i'm going to be using the pro filter foundation in the color 330 hopefully this is a true match for me because y'all like i said i've been through three foundations the first one i used i think probably was my correct foundation for the summer so maybe this will be my correct foundation for the winter Oh yeah, I forgot. The thing about Fenty Beauty Foundation is you gotta go pretty fast. So I'm gonna take my buffer brush and buff this thing out real quick. Um, This color isn't looking too bad on camera, but I'm not sure about real life. I have to go outside. Sometimes under, under the ring light, it can make everything look good. Regardless of the color, the foundation looks flawless as usual. I love this foundation. Um, it's light to medium coverage. So that's all I really look for in a foundation. I don't really look for like full coverage. And if I wanted to double up, I could. All right. So now that I've applied the foundation, let's move on to the concealer. This is always going to be an A plus for me okay so here is the concealer it is in 330 as well i was told that concealers were made to be paired with the foundation therefore it's going to be a shade or two lighter shout out to you rihanna because who feels like going through the trouble of finding their concealer shade and their foundation shade that is so annoying all right so i'm gonna go ahead and apply the concealer to all the places i wear concealer the highlighted spots okay this is a good foundation color so maybe this is the right foundation because it goes perfectly for me y'all so i was so obsessed with the color that i forgot to mention that i love the wand applicator it's flexible and it applied creamy like a dream Okay, this is more coverage than what I thought. Yeah, this is a lot more coverage than what I thought. Maybe this is full coverage. I'm going to say medium to full, but man, this is looking like full to me. Wow, this covered a whole lot more than what I thought it was going to do. I, I ain't going to lie, when I applied it, I totally underestimated this concealer. Like, wow, it's flawless. And it looks so natural, like... Okay, then I did. I like I y'all. I totally underestimated. This concealer is flawless. Like I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's flawless. Like I, it reminds me kind of the Tarte Shape Tape. It's just, I love it. I think I love it in that same way. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. 
let's move on to the Fenty powder and I love her packaging for this this is so cute her octagon shape is like synonymous with her brand and I think that was genius because what other brand do you know with the octagon glass jar it's just I love it you just feel fabulous and it is a loose powder I have this in the color banana because I'm a banana powder type of girl y'all i'm like super baking my face because i want this to last but um yeah i chose this color because i just didn't want the other one to be too dark and have to return i didn't want to have to go through all that so basically i'm just setting all my highlighted areas and baking like because we're gonna we're gonna give this a fighting chance i really want this to work <laughs> I usually don't even bake this hard though. And we will be doing a flashback test. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust all of this powder off. I really think this powder just truly helped to highlight everything. It just like, really locked the concealer and the foundation was already locked but i feel like it really locked the concealer and everything in place and y'all honestly i don't feel anything on my face like after all that heavy makeup i don't feel anything it almost feels like i don't have anything on so i'm just gonna go ahead while everything is looking spectacular i'm just gonna set everything in place with a fix plus rihanna we want a setting spray like You've given us, you pretty much given me everything I wanted except an eyebrow kit. I will love an eyebrow kit and setting spray, please. I will settle for either or with the next launch, please. I feel like I just look flawless right now even though I'm not done. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I've already applied some highlight as you can see. But I'm going to top it off with my Trophy Wife which I feel like is so underrated. I feel like people don't even... Like when Trophy Wife first came out everybody was like obsessed with Trophy Wife. And then all of a sudden people just don't care. I still like Trophy Wife even though I don't use it alone. I use it as a topper but it always like amps up the drama like gives you like a golden glow bam especially for deeper skin tones i feel like it looks even better I did want to do a flashback test real quick, so I'm going to turn off the lights. Flashback where? Flashback where? Y'all, zero flashback. Zero. She said right here on the box, photo finish. What is that? What is that? Flash photography approved, okay? It's currently almost 12 o'clock, so I will be back around midnight. Please, I got my fingers crossed that I make it, y'all. I don't even know if I can, but I will do my best because I do want to see if this will stand the test. It is kind of like a hot day today, so I will see you in the next one. Okay, y'all, so it's 6 o'clock. And I have not padded once. And this is really good for me going six hours without padding at all. I'm going to take a little bit of the powder and touch up. I know people ain't going to be carrying this huge Fenty Beauty powder around. But it definitely touched everything up, soaked up all the oil. And I'm back to normal. I'll bring you the results at 12. Oh, child. The oil, the grease. Child. 
Look at that. Look at that. It's 11.47. We're about 10 minutes away. Close enough. Y'all, I am greasy. So I didn't touch up since that last check-in. So it has been six hours. I didn't touch anything. Um, And I am clearly greasy. I feel like it did a good job initially keeping the oil away. But as the day goes on, obviously you have to check up. And, you know, things are just going to wear off naturally. But I'm going to give y'all up close of the makeup. Because the makeup itself, even though it's oily, it has not, like really broken up in any sort of way it's held up under the stress and the duress of all this oil i do see where it's wore off a little bit where on my smile lines right here it's wore off but pretty much everywhere else it's a one so now i'm just going to take a little bit of the fenty beauty powder and just touch up and see how that helps this oil it smells so good by the way it has a like delectable little scent. The little lines that were right here, once I applied powder to it, it kind of like completely made that disappear. It's been 12 hours and all it took was some powder to completely bring my face back to life. And it looks almost just as good as it did when I first applied this makeup. So shout out to Fenty Beauty. It completely passed this 12 hour test. I feel like this is the best makeup has ever done after 12 hours of sitting on this greasy oily face i mean i'm not even exaggerating this this is like this is still flawless it don't look like i've had this makeup on for 12 hours if i had the strength y'all i would keep going but i just can't just know your makeup will at least be good for 12 hours i don't know how much longer you'll ever wear makeup Honestly, for this quality, I would expect for the makeup to be even more expensive than what it is. Which tells me that a lot of these companies are overcharging for quality. And also, some of these products should be better for their price. Once again, Fenty Beauty set a standard. This is my new go-to concealer and powder because I feel like those two work together so well. I love the foundation as well. And yeah, guys, it definitely has the Levita Rosa stamp of approval. I definitely recommend all of these products that I've tried here today. I love them all. I would love to know what you guys think down below. Have you ever tried Fenty Beauty products? If so, let me know which ones you've tried. If not, do you plan to? And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace. I'm about to go scrub my face, y'all. It needs a good scrubbing.